uh, as members of the LSRA or anyone else looking, any of the barristers that I email, because I do email quite a lot of the law community, um, and I'm going to start expanding that. Um, I have to get the rest of the emails from the Law Society website, uh, um, you know, to, uh, to make sure you all know what's going on. But have a look at this screenshot, and uh, as you can see, this is uh, Root Cannon trying to hide uh, the short video I made explaining um, why there's been an uptick in um, in videos about Root Cannon and, you know, the people that have helped Root Cannon, like the, you know, the useful idiot Andrew Bradley or, you know, the uh, criminally incompetent uh, Garrett Charles Casey who broke client privilege to help Root Cannon who, and Root Cannon was so fucking stupid that she blurted it into... Uh, in in um into harassment um YouTube comments that she's since deleted because uh you know that's the incoherent narcissistic rage on display. So uh, uh yeah you'll find the um the video that Ruth Cannon is trying to suppress in um the Odyssey link in the description in case anyone hasn't seen it. I'm gonna email this out to all of you um now. So you know, I hope you're all enjoying the show. Uh, today I'm going to be covering Eleanor Carmody's homophobia and um, and general bigotry. Uh, she's a nasty person, Eleanor is. And then I'm going to deal with Norma Salmon, uh, who is um, a corrupt um, barrister. And I have um, that verifiable, and I'm going to detail how I have that verifiable, and how Norma Salmon uh, lied on her uh, response to an LSRA complaint. Um, because uh, she's just, I mean, but we're, I'm, de I'm like, I've, if this is like, if this was mining, you know, I will use a mining analogy. I've hit a deep vein of corrupt, incompetent motherfuckers. But uh, yeah, uh, you know, this is what the way we're at. So, uh, your counsel today. So, if this is your first video, uh, you know, maybe you should look back or uh, email a colleague. Colleague. Um, and that's what Rude calls them colleagues or a peer or you know a barrister you like um, and uh, maybe they'll fill you in but uh, if you scroll down in the email you have you'll see um, uh, the backlog of um, of correspondence regarding this so you'll be able to see just um, some sort of a map of of, of of the disgrace that Root Cannon and a number of your colleagues like Garrett Charles Casey have brought to, oh, and Norma Salmon and Jennifer Cuff. Oh, what a piece of work is Jennifer Cuff and Norma Salmon, because, you know, that's the funny thing, because when, as this goes forward, it's going to come out that Jennifer Cuff and Norma Salmon collude in the back room to prejudice cases. And, uh, you know, that I have the evidence of that. Uh, Norma Salmon and Jennifer Cuff colluded to withhold evidence from the court that, so it would favour Jennifer Cuff. And that's even funnier is that I see them go for lunch regularly. Um, and that's how I know them. And they should have thought of that before pulling it on me. So we'll get more of these out. And remember, Root Cannon told me that the only thing that was keeping me alive was publishing about all of you when she was inciting the articles about Michael Hanahoe and everybody. And um, as you can see, uh, this sad, pathetic, weight-obsessed, narcissist barrister, criminal barrister at that, is, um, uh, you know, trying to suppress these videos in Ireland which is or has to be one of the single most um, brain dead, desperate actions I have uh, come across ever. Uh, I can, how, what has that the thinking of that go? I oh, said, just if they don't see it in Ireland, it won't be real. Uh, like this is that, that, that would, like a horrible person. Um, but that seems to be an endemic problem in law.